President Trump is promising the show of a lifetime this 4th of July on the National Mall. Yeah, the stage is set, the tanks are in place, and the crowds are arriving for the president's salute to America in front of the Lincoln Memorial. Now, the president urged people to get there early for what he calls one of the biggest celebrations of our country. Tanks, troops, military flyovers, and then a speech from the commander-in-chief himself. Yeah, but the White House insists the president's speech will be patriotic, not partisan. But still, the event is drawing criticism and protests. We have team coverage tonight, beginning with our Scott Broom near the Lincoln Memorial. Scott. All right, well, let's uh, get to the politics in a minute. First, let's talk about the weather. It is spinning a little bit of rain down here. There have been no calls right now for any sort of uh, safety plan just yet, despite uh, the good advice that Melissa just gave you. So folks are obviously concerned about the weather. Yes, on to politics today. I talked to a lot of people today who felt like it was somewhat of a politicized event. I'm going to show you some of their reflections, starting with kind of a pretty spirited disagreement between uh, Trump supporters for the president and somebody not so much. And then we'll hear from some other folks as well. All this anti-Trump stuff, it's non-existent, it's fake news. I've been out here, nobody's harassed me. All I'm getting is high fives from everybody. We came all the way to this parade, go all the way up there. We're not allowed in to see the tanks, only privileged Republicans are. This is baloney. This is Independence Day. We yes. should be allowed up there. Shame on everybody that allowed, allowed this to you happen. You're nuts! Do you feel like the Fourth of July event is sort of more political than it has been in the past? No, uh, the 4th of July is our independence from England. It began as a political event. It's our independence. Um, so, of course, it's political. I think this is a great day for the nation. Every American should be proud. And I think our president is doing the very best he can. I feel he's a uniter, not a divider. I came down here because I really like July 4th. And it's so fun to be around crowds celebrating America. And I wasn't going to carry this balloon until I saw all the Trump posters and all the Trump t-shirts. It's not about America, it's about a man. This is one of the few displays I've seen that's completely not political. We just think life is beautiful and thankful to be on Earth every day. What do you think about the politics of this event, the way it's shaping up? I, I think uh, it, it's really a political day out here. It just appears that way based on what everybody's wearing. But we're out here just because we love America. They love America, but clearly they're a little bit worried about the weather this evening for whatever is going to happen. Uh, the president's going to give his speech up by the Lincoln Memorial. Uh, that's going to happen at 6.30 this evening. That is a ticketed event, as you just heard. So the general public can't get in unless you have a ticket. Then fireworks, flyovers, all of that, as long as the weather holds up. Reporting live at the National Mall, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Sounds like the fireworks are flying down there before the actual show. Scott, thank you. Be safe.